Hello, everybody. Andrea here with Dental L. I have been in the dental profession for about 17 years now. I have my own mobile dental hygiene practice, and I want to talk to you guys about how I fix cavities in children um, and adults, too, depending on the size of the cavity without using a high speed handpiece. When we take out the drill, that means we're going to need a needle because we need to freeze the tooth, the nerves, so that way you're not sore. So nobody likes to go to the dentist when we take out the drill and fix cavities. That's why people don't like to get cavities among other reasons. But what if there was a way that we could tell you that we can fix your cavity without using a drill? Certain circumstances do apply. And for children, we can fix their cavity without them having to go through a half an hour dental procedure with the high-speed handpiece, needles, kids are terrified. There are ways to avoid that. So let me explain that a little bit for you. So just moving on to the next slide here. So I like to show this to parents of my child patients. So when I see a cavity in a two-year-old, a four-year-old, a five-year-old, I like to let my parents know um, parents of my patients know that your child starts to get teeth at seven to nine months, sometimes even earlier. Some kids are born with a tooth or teeth. As soon as they get teeth, they can get a cavity. So imagine having your little 10 month old getting a cavity. We can't fix that cavity using a high speed handpiece. We can't fix it using a drill. We can't give them a needle. Like that's just overkill, right? And your baby is not going to sit there to allow us to do that. So then we have to put them to sleep, all of that. What if we could avoid all of that? The times have changed, things have changed. So over to my next slide. This is when for primary teeth, when your child starts to get their primary teeth coming in, they're going to lose their baby teeth, but it might not be until they're six years old. 10 years old, 11 years old. So let's just say your child has a cavity in their front tooth here at age three, okay? I show this chart to parents and I let them know they're not going to lose that tooth until age six. So we can't just leave the cavity there. It's going to get worse. We do have to fix it, um, but there's no point putting them through a dental appointment, putting them to sleep, using the high-speed handpiece to basically cut into the tooth, um, make another hole and fix the cavity using a filling. Your little three-year-old is not going to go through that. So then you have to put them to sleep. That's why there's such thing as children's dentistry. They specifically put children to sleep to do whatever work they need to at such a young age. Or if your child's terrified, um, they put children to sleep. But what if I told you again, there's a different way we can do it where your child doesn't have to be put to sleep. They don't need a needle. They don't have to be traumatized by the drill. I'm going to explain that to you. So there's something called silver diamine fluoride, which I'm actually going to show you guys in the next slide first. There is a liquid we can literally apply to that cavity that kills the cavity. It kills the bacteria causing the cavity so that cavity cannot get bigger. That kills the cavity. You don't need a filling on that tooth. What the dentist does when they place a filling is they have to take out the cavity with the high-speed handpiece. That's why you need a needle because that would hurt to take out the cavity with the drill. So you might be wondering, well, how do you take out the cavity then if you don't use a drill? This liquid kills the cavity on site. So it kills the bacteria causing that cavity. So you don't have to take it out. The liquid kills it. Does that make sense? So moving on to the next slide quickly here again for you. Sorry, the previous slide. So let's say your child's cavity looks like this. That is a cavity. You can't just leave it alone. It's going to get worse. If it gets worse, it causes pain. So we always try to fix it as soon as possible. That liquid, we put the liquid on. Yes, it looks black. That is the catch with the liquid is it does turn the cavity black. If we were to put the liquid on and there's no cavity, it doesn't do anything. So it doesn't turn the, the tooth black, the tissues black, none of that. It just turns the cavity black. So that doesn't look very nice, does it? But in that case, what we can do is we can put a filling over top to cover up the black. 
You don't need the high speed handpiece. You don't need the needle. And guess what? It takes literally two seconds. I do this multiple times a day on my child patients. It's truly amazing. And it's a fraction of the cost. In my practice, if I were to do a filling on a little child like this, it might cost $60. It might cost $100 because it's on both teeth. It's hard for me to say without seeing it in person. When I apply the liquid, it's a lot cheaper. It does range in price depending on how many teeth kind of what I'm doing, but it could be $10 or it could be $20. Isn't that amazing? A big difference, right? So would you rather pay $20 or pay $100? Probably $20. Would you rather put your child through a needle, the traumatizing visit of having a, a, a um, high-speed handpiece, a drill, cutting out a cavity, or they have to be put to sleep, which is very expensive, um, would you, or, or would you rather that? So this liquid is truly amazing. We literally put the liquid on, it kills the cavity. So a couple other things that I want to talk to you guys about, I'm going to stop sharing my screen so you can see a full video here. So a couple other things that I tell my um, parents of my child patients is it does have to be reapplied. So that liquid does kill that cavity, kills the bacteria, but it needs to be reapplied depending on the size of the cavity. It could have to be reapplied again in two weeks, but typically every three or six months. Again, it depends on the size of the cavity, depends on the age of the child, depends on if they're cavity prone. If they admit to me they're not going to brush twice a day, I'm going to want to see them more often to apply that liquid so it doesn't get worse. It's 10 to $20 each time, but that's still cheaper than going to the dentist to get a filling, cutting into the tooth with a high-speed handpiece, possibly putting them to sleep, traumatizing visit, you get the idea. I've never had a parent say, no, that sounds horrible. I would much rather put them to sleep for several thousand dollars, have them get a full set of fillings. It's an amazing service. This works for children and adults, but the catch is you guys, if you have a big hole in that tooth where the cavity is close to the nerve, the liquid's not going to work. It's too far gone. You have to go to the dentist for them to take out the cavity with the high-speed handpiece, possibly even a root canal, a bigger filling to kind of hold it together. It's hard, it's, it's hard to say. The liquid will not work. Um, it, if you're in pain, if the tooth is very sore already, a very big cavity that could signal other problems that I would want them to go to the dentist anyway to get an x-ray, and in the x-ray, it might show that it's close to the nerve. If the cavity is close to the nerve, the liquid will not work. You need to go to the dentist to get a proper filling. Does this make sense? So I tell all my patients, the more frequent, when I see them more often is what I'm trying to say. I can catch cavities before they get too big. We can stop that cavity with the liquid. They don't have to worry. And then every time I see them for a cleaning, I, I, I just simply reapply that liquid so the cavity doesn't get worse. In some cases, you, you might have gone to the dentist before and they might say to you, oh, you have a couple watch areas. The cavity is really, really small. Let's just watch it and see what happens. When I see that, I put that liquid on right away to kill the cavity so it doesn't have a chance to get worse. Because my fear is that patient is going to come back, the cavity is going to get worse, now it's causing them pain, when I could have just put the liquid on in the first place, it's not going to get worse, but you do still have to brush well. So this is an amazing thing for children and adults. Please let me know, you guys, if you have any questions. I am so happy to help. And I will talk to you guys very soon. I will see you soon. Bye.